This is Zodiac Immortal with how to make a disposable ghost decoration. Take one. Hey, my name is Kim, and I'm going to show you how to make my disposable ghost decoration. First, you crumple up about three tissues, and then you layer them. It's one, two, three, four, five or six tissues, um, like this. Put one right over the top, and then the rest of them you put one corner in the middle of each spot, gluing them down as you go, here. You glue them down as you go. This way it drapes over the ball. This is the fastest way for you. That and so YouTube will allow me to post it. So I'm just doing this really quick and it seems so quite sloppily. I hope you were able to see all this because I don't have anyone to help me out. And we can, you might want to glue the ball, throw some glue a little bit through the ball, giving it a dab here and there. And you crumple it down better. And you put stick that part. Down there, and well, I skipped the part, but you also take now you're supposed to use either white or where is it? Either a white or thread or fishing thin fishing line, so that. And with the fishing line, if you hang it, what you're making outside, it'll, when the wind blows, it'll look like it floats. You could do the same thing with the, with the reusable one, only it's a little different. But I don't have any rags at the moment to do it, and I thought this bright thread would help you to see me thread this better. If I can find it underneath this now. Now what you do where did where where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it goes. Now what you do, what I missed is before you actually glue the ball to the top, you're gonna want to throw a thread through the top of it to keep all the tissues together. You especially most definitely do this with oops, we did it not it, did we? You especially do this with when you make the rat version, which is a little easier as you don't have to ball up tissues if you want and you can use regular um like pillow filler. Um, you can even use more rags under the rag, um, foam balls, just with those, I think you also have to be careful with the, if you put it out in the rain, I'm not sure, um, but I usually just make these kind, and sometimes the more raggedy it looks, the creepier, especially when you can't find the actual bowl to get under. There we go. Okay, so now you have the basic idea. We'll just go through this. Go through all the tissues at least once. Then go down. Well, this one's going to come out really messed up because I'm trying to hurry up with the time constrictions. Thread. You might want to use a thimble as well which I don't have at the moment. 
thread through to make sure they all stay together. And then make, if you can, a large enough loop so that you can hang it outside. So that once it's hung, um, this is a little messed up, my apologies as I did it quick, but you draw eyes, the mouth, and when the wind blows, it should it up and make it look like it's floating. You might, however, on in the seam areas here, at least for the top layer, to glue them together. So I hope this was a useful idea. The ones with the rags is pretty much the same, just layer up maybe two or three rags over a foam ball, or one really big, large rag, depending on the size of the ball you use. And you've got yourself a nice, quickie decoration. Even if you want, especially if you want to make them for friends and family. Okay? I hope this works. Have a good day.